My guess is you're going to see us have to conserve, conserve water in a more significant way. Utah Senator Mitt Romney with some words about conservation as he looks at a critical piece of water infrastructure in Utah. Utah's largest wastewater treatment site is undergoing a massive upgrade. Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow explains how it impacts you. This is your sewage being treated. We have never had an odor control issue here or, or a complaint. Isn't that amazing? The Central Valley Water Treatment Facility took Senator Mitt Romney, Congressman Burgess Owens, and others on a tour to show how they treat wastewater. We're always uh, asking for money and they're paying our bills. Um, a lot of them don't realize what we do or the magnitude of it. The state's largest treatment facility processes up to 60 million gallons a day from seven communities across the Salt Lake Valley. It, it teaches us that we really can reuse the water that's been used once. Construction is underway on an expansion here to deal with new environmental regulations, replace an aging infrastructure, and of course accommodate a big population growth. I don't think we can think enough about the future and the growth in the valley and how that impacts water reclamation, how it impacts our water, um, the usage of water, how we treat the water and where it's going. But the project is about $43 million short. The facility can't dip into federal funds like its member cities can, so they hope Senator Romney can help. If we can't get any grant funding, we will have to go back out for another bond issue. Well, there's no question, but that in passing the infrastructure bill, we're focused on being able to provide more support to states and communities uh, so they can meet the water needs of a drying, uh, drought-resistant, uh, drought-infested uh, uh, area. The drought has impacted the facility, but not in the same way as others. Flows through it are down, partly because people are conserving more water. When you have less water, that makes it go up, and when the population goes up, it goes up. So we, we're getting more and more pollutants, but in less and less flow. The water processed here ultimately winds up in the Jordan River and then in the Great Salt Lake. Senator Romney has been pushing for federal solutions to help save it. I think we're, uh, you know, using the pun, treading water when it comes to the Great Salt Lake. We don't have the answer yet. We haven't taken the really aggressive steps we're going to have to take in conservation or other major uh, innovations to keep the Great Salt Lake alive and well. In South Salt Lake, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.